Good evening, micro followers. Tuscan chicken, yes, please. Pause for ingredients. Now, these chicken breasts were pretty big, so I went ahead and cut them in half. So, I'm starting with four chicken breast fillets. You are going to generously season them with salt and pepper and slap them onto a hot cast iron skillet or grill. Now the recipe calls for cherry tomatoes, but I just had a couple vine ripe tomatoes. I uh, rubbed them down with some garlic infused olive oil and stuck them in the air fryer for 15 minutes and then just diced them up. Speaking of, you're going to want to go ahead and get that onion and garlic diced up. Don't forget to check on your chicken frequently. Once it is done, about three or four minutes on each side, you're going to pop that into the oven to rest. Get you a couple tablespoons of butter started and get those onions in your skillet until translucent. At that point, you're going to go ahead and add your garlic until fragrant. Now it's time for some oregano. And once you get all that stirred up and golden crispy brown, you're going to add your carton of half and half. You're going to let this reduce down just a little bit. And the recipe originally calls for a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. I like to use smoked Swiss or Gouda. It's not Tuscan without spinach. So let's go ahead and put the whole bag in. Going to let that wilt down just a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and get those tomatoes added in. Carefully tuck in all those beautifully seared chicken breasts and get them covered up just a little bit with just enough sauce. You're going to simmer this for about five more minutes. You can serve this on a bed of pasta or by itself with sides. Either way, it doesn't matter. It's absolute delish. Generally, people will um, spray the top of this with either some lemon or lime. Um, I omitted that. I think it's just perfect the way it is. I hope you enjoy. I know we sure did. For more great recipes, www.missionmarket.org. And as always, thanks for watching.